Did you know that swelling within your legs, feet and ankle can be a sign of a serious condition such as right-sided heart failure, liver disease or even kidney disease? And as a seasoned podiatrist with a decade of experience, I've explored clinical research with renowned foot doctors and surgeons. These 17 causes of ankle swelling could unlock the truth about your legs and feet. Number 1. Right-sided heart failure Our heart is a very important organ that pumps blood to different parts of our body and it has two sides, the right side and the left side. The right side of the heart is responsible for pumping blood to our lungs so that we can get enough oxygen. But sometimes the right side of the heart can have problems and not work as well as it should. This is called right-sided heart failure. When the right side of the heart is not working properly, it can cause a buildup of fluid in our body. This fluid is supposed to stay inside our blood vessels. But when the right side of the heart fails, the fluid can leak into the tissues, causing a condition called edema. One place where this fluid can accumulate is within our ankles. Imagine our blood vessels as little pipes that carry blood around our body. When the right side of the heart fails, it puts extra pressure on these pipes. This extra pressure makes it hard for the fluid to stay inside the pipes. So it starts to leak out and it goes into our ankles. Sometimes this fluid can also go into other parts of our body like our belly or even our lungs. But in the case of right-sided heart failure, the ankles are the common place for this buildup of fluid. So in simple terms, right-sided heart failure means that the right side of our heart is not working well and this causes fluid to leak out of our blood vessels and into our ankles making them swollen. Number two, liver disease. Our liver is a very important organ that helps our body to stay healthy and it has many jobs including cleaning our blood and making sure it works properly but sometimes the liver can get sick and not work as well as it should. When this happens it can lead to a condition called liver disease. Liver disease disease can cause different problems in our body and one of them is ankle edema. When we have liver disease, it can affect the way our liver does its job. One important job of the liver is to make a liquid called bile, which helps our body digest food. Bile is then stored in a small sac called the gallbladder. When the liver is not working properly, it can cause a few things to happen that lead to ankle swelling. First, the liver helps control the amount of fluid in our body. When it's not working well, it can cause our body to return more fluid than it should. This means that the extra fluid stays in our body and can build up in different places, including our ankles. Secondly, the liver also helps make proteins that are important for our body to function properly. One of these proteins is called albumin. Albumin helps keep the fluid inside our blood vessels where it belongs but when the liver is not functioning properly and unhealthy it may not make enough albumin well without enough albumin the fluid can leak out of our blood vessels and go into our ankles causing them to swell up number three chronic kidney disease our kidneys are important organs in our body that help us get rid of waste and extra fluid they also help keep our body balanced and healthy but sometimes the kidneys can get damaged or not work as well as they should. When this happens for a long period of time, it's called chronic kidney disease. They filter our blood and make urine to get rid of these things. However, when the kidneys are not working properly as well as they should due to chronic kidney disease, a few things can happen that lead to ankle swelling. First, the kidneys may not be able to remove extra fluid from our body as well as they should. This can cause the buildup of fluid in different parts of our body. The extra fluid puts pressure on our blood vessels and some of it can leak into our tissues causing swelling in the ankles. Secondly, the kidneys plays an important role in balancing the levels of certain substances in our body such as sodium and potassium. When the kidneys are not functioning properly, these levels can become imbalanced. Too much sodium in our body can cause water retention leading to swelling in the ankles. Number four, chronic venous insufficiency. When we have chronic venous insufficiency or CVI, it means the veins in our legs are not working as well as they should. Our veins have special valves that help keep the blood flow in one direction, like a one-way street. Chronic venous insufficiency can also limit the amount of oxygen and nutrients that reach 
connective tissues. This can cause waste materials and extra fluid to build up in the tissues, which makes them grow bigger and leads to ankle swelling. Other signs of chronic venous insufficiency include changes in the color of the skin, like it becoming darker or discolored, and the appearance of veins that look twisted or bulging, or varicose veins. Some people may also experience pain, heaviness, or discomfort within their legs. Number five, deep vein thrombosis. This is where blood clots form in the deep veins within the legs. When this happens, it can block the flow of blood within the veins and cause problems. And one thing that can happen with DVT is swelling within the ankles. The blood clot blocks the vein and the blood gets stuck behind it. This can make the vein and tissue around it have more pressure. The pressure can make the fluid leak out of the legs and go into the tissues, including the ankles. When fluid builds up in the tissues, it can make the ankles swell up and become bigger than usual. Sometimes the affected area can also be hurt, feel painful and warmer than the rest of the body. DVT can be a serious condition because the blood clot can sometimes break loose and travel to other parts of the body like the lungs, which can be very dangerous. When someone has DVT, doctors can give them a special medicine called blood thinning drugs to help break up the blood clots and to stop them from getting bigger. They may also suggest using things like compression stockings or mechanical devices that can help increase blood flow. And now I would like to take a moment to thank our sponsors for this video Relief Genius Cold Therapy Socks with reusable gel ice packs. You're looking for effective relief from a wide range of conditions, including sprains, muscle pain, bruises, swelling, DMA, chemotherapy side effects, arthritis, and postpartum foot discomfort. These cold therapy socks are an excellent solution. The gel ice packs can be easily chilled in the freezer and then inserted into the pockets of the socks. The combination of of cold therapy and compression helps constrict blood vessels, reducing fluid buildup and inflammation, minimizing the risk of cold injury. I've personally had the opportunity myself to try out the Relief Genius Cold Therapy socks on my father-in-law, and I have to say I was extremely impressed with their effectiveness in reducing ankle swelling and providing relief for him. You can find more information about purchasing these socks in the link which is provided in the description below. Number six, lymphedema. Lymphedema is a condition that can make parts of a body, such as our legs and arms, swell up. It happens when there is too much fluid called lymph in our body. Our bodies have a special system called the lymphatic system. It moves lymph fluid around the body and helps fight germs. Sounds like the Avengers to me. Sometimes the lymphatic system can become damaged or blocked and this can cause problems. It can't flow properly and starts to build up within the body. This buildup of fluid is called lymphedema. When lymphedema affects the legs, it can cause ankle swelling. Ankle swelling caused by lymphedema can make it hard to move around and cause discomfort. If lymphedema is not treated, it can cause changes within the skin, like becoming thicker and stiffer. It also increases the chance of getting an infection and even sores, which are known as ulcers, which are very difficult to heal. Number seven, hypothyroidism. These hormones help how our body controls energy and grows. When we have hypothyroidism, our metabolism can slow down. And one reason for ankle swelling in hypothyroidism is because our body's fluid movement slows down. Fluid can start building up around the tissues, including our ankles. Another reason is because hypothyroidism can affect a special protein called albumin. If there isn't enough albumin, fluid can leak out of the blood vessels and into the tissues surrounding our ankles. Hypothyroidism can also affect an important hormone called aldosterone, which helps control the balance of salts and water within our body. So if there isn't enough aldosterone, fluid can easily build up within the surrounding tissues within our body. This also causes stiffness, weakness, and pain within the legs and feet. Number eight, gout. Sounds like get out. Gout is a form of inflammatory arthritis that is very painful. It happens when there are too many urate crystals within our joints. While gout usually affects the big toe, it can also affect other joints such as the ankle. When urate crystals form within the ankle joint, they can trigger an immune response within the body. This response causes the ankle to become inflamed and swollen, making the ankle painful, stiff and hard to move. And when I've seen patients with this condition affecting the ankle, it is extremely painful. Even a sudden movement can cause pain, and usually it subsides within a few days. Certain things can trigger gout attacks, such as eating red meat, seafood, and drinking alcohol. Dehydration, stress, 
and being sick can also trigger a gout attack. Some people are more likely to get gout if they have high levels of uric acid within their blood. If someone has a gout attack and is affecting the ankle, it's important for them to manage the pain immediately and also to prevent a future occurrence of it. Things like eating healthy food choices, drinking enough water and staying active can make a big difference. Focusing on eliminating triggers is important for preventing a future gout attack. Number nine, arthritis. Arthritis is a condition that can make our joints appear stiff, swollen and painful. There are two types of arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis occurs when our body's immune system mistakenly attacks our own joints causing inflammation which appears to be red, hot and swollen. It's usually symmetrical, meaning that it appears on both ankles. Whereas osteoarthritis occurs due to wear and tear of a joint, and it usually only occurs on one side. As a result of wear and tear, this cushioning cartilage starts to wear out, which means that the bones start rubbing with one another. Other things such as injury, overuse and putting too much stress on the ankle joint. These factors can damage the joint over time and cause inflammation which can lead to swelling within the ankle. Number 10. Pregnancy. During pregnancy, a woman's body goes through many changes to support the growing baby. One change that the body undergoes is to produce more blood to give nutrients and oxygen to the baby. This extra blood can put more pressure on the blood vessels within the legs and feet. The growing baby also puts extra pressure on the blood vessels within the legs. This can make it much harder for the blood flow to go back to the heart, especially when the mother is sitting or standing for a long period of time. When blood doesn't flow well, fluid can build up in the tissues around the legs and feet, causing it to appear swollen. There are also special hormones that change during pregnancy. Some of these hormones can make the blood vessels more leaky. This means that the fluid can leak out of the blood vessels and into the tissue, making the ankles and feet swell. Swelling within the legs, feet and ankles is a common and normal part of pregnancy. Many women experience mild to moderate swelling within the legs, feet and ankles, especially as the pregnancy progresses. It is very important for pregnant women to rest, elevate their legs and drink plenty of water to reduce swelling. Remember, swelling during pregnancy is temporary and usually goes away after the baby is born. It's just one of the many changes that happens in a woman's body to help bring a new life into this world. Number 11, pre-eclampsia. This is a serious condition that can happen during pregnancy. Pre-eclampsia is associated with high blood pressure. High blood pressure puts extra stress onto the blood vessels, making it even harder for them to let blood flow through, which can contribute to swelling within the ankles. Ankle swelling is just one sign of pre-eclampsia. Other signs may include protein within the urine, headaches, vision changes, and sudden weight gain. Although preeclampsia is a serious condition, doctors and healthcare providers know how to take care of it. They will monitor the mother's health and baby's growth closely. Number 12, cellulitis. Cellulitis is usually a bacterial infection of the skin. It usually occurs when bacteria enters through a portal of entry, such as wounds or cuts. When bacteria gets into the skin, our body's defense system tries to fight them off by sending special cells called white blood cells to the infected area. These cells release chemicals that make the skin red, warm and swollen, which is seen as inflammation, which is the body's natural way of protecting itself from the infection. It also infects the lymphatic vessels. The lymphatic vessels help drain the extra fluid from the tissue. In cellulitis, bacteria can damage these vessels, causing fluid to build up within the ankles, which leads to swelling. The good news is that cellulitis can be treated with a course of antibiotics. Number 13, bursitis. Bursitis is a condition that occurs when small little sacs called bursa that help protect their joints become swollen or irritated. Bursa are like small cushions filled with fluid to reduce friction and help us move smoothly. They are located between the bones, tendons and muscles. Sometimes the bursa can become irritated or injured, such as from activities like running or jumping, or even from an injury like a fall. When this happens, the bursa becomes inflamed, which is known as bursitis. When bursitis affects the ankle, it can cause ankle swelling. The inflammation in the bursa can make extra fluid build up around the ankle, making it look swollen. Bursitis can also cause pain and swelling and difficulty moving the ankle joint. Number 14. 
ganglion cyst. A ganglion cyst is a small sac that can form around a tendon or joint around the body, such as the ankle. It is filled with jelly-like fluid. Sometimes a ganglion cyst can press on a nearby tissue and cause swelling. When a ganglion cyst forms near the ankle, it puts pressure on the surrounding tissue and structure, including blood vessels and lymphatic vessels. This pressure can disrupt the normal flow of blood in this area. As a result, the fluid can build up in the tissues around the ankle, leading to swelling or edema. Swelling caused by ganglion cysts can make the ankle pair larger than usual, feel tight or uncomfortable. It's important to note that ganglion cysts are usually not that harmful and often go away on their own. However, if the swelling persists or becomes worse, it's best to see a doctor for further evaluation and appropriate treatment. Number 15. Medications Certain medications can affect the way the body regulates fluid balance. For example, certain medications used for treating high blood pressure, such as calcium channel blockers, can cause the blood vessels to become more wider. This can lead to an increase in fluid retention, causing swelling within the ankles. Other medications, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, can also cause fluid retention and impair kidney function, which can also result in ankle swelling. Corticosteroids can also cause ankle swelling because they affect our body's fluid and electrolyte balance. It's important to know that not all medication causes ankle swelling and it also varies from person to person. If you notice ankle swelling while taking medication, it's crucial that you speak with your doctor. They can evaluate your symptoms and determine if they need to make any adjustments to your medications if needed. Number 16. Overweight. Being overweight can make your ankle swell and become bigger. This is because the extra weight puts a lot of pressure on the ankles and feet. This pressure can make it harder for the fluid and blood within our body to move properly. So usually the fluid builds up and causes ankle swelling. Because being overweight can also affect how the blood flows through our body. This can cause problems with blood circulation, which means the blood doesn't move around as easily. When blood doesn't flow well, fluid gets stuck in the ankles and makes them swell. Sometimes being overweight can also lead to other health conditions such as diabetes or heart disease. These conditions make it more likely for the ankles to swell up. Number 17. Injury Sometimes when we get injured or hurt an ankle, it can cause swelling to build up in that area. Ankle edema or swelling is our body's way of protecting and healing the injured area. When we hurt our ankle, it can also damage the tissues and blood vessels in that area as well. The body reacts by sending extra blood and fluid to the injured area. This helps bring healing cells and nutrients to the ankle to repair the damage. The extra blood and fluid causes the ankles to swell up and appear larger than usual. This is like when we get a bump or bruise, that pair is swollen and puffy. It's a sign that our body is working to heal itself. The swelling might make it harder to move the ankle and it can feel uncomfortable and tender. But don't you worry, it's a normal part of the healing process. The swelling usually goes down as the injury gets better. Sometimes, if the injury is more severe, the swelling will last longer. In those instances, it's important to practice RICE, which stands for rest ice, compression and elevation. I hope you found this video very helpful and please share this with your friends, family and loved ones so they can also be aware of the various causes of swelling within their legs, feet and ankle. And remember, health is wealth. But this video is incomplete if you don't watch the next video where I talk about the signs and symptoms of swelling within the ankle, legs and feet. I will see you in the next one.